successful TV shows that were rejected before becoming big hits, there's a lot that goes into a network's decision of whether they will release a new TV series or not. From types of characters and themes, to breaking the line between provocative and offensive to the desire to be in trend, while not wanting to repeat a show that is already on air, there is a lot to think about. Even if a show has a unique concept or reliable talents attached, you can never be sure of what's going to be a hit. However, after watching these extraordinary shows, it is hard to imagine what was going through the minds of the network executives when they rejected these excellent series. Some of the shows they turned down continued to become the greatest series of all time, raking in huge critical acclaim and profit. Squid Game 2021, the creator of Squid Game, Wong Dong-hyuk, wrote the world's most famous TV show of 2021 back in 2008, when it was imagined as a film script, and finished the first draft in 2009. It took the writer and director nearly six months to write the first two episodes alone, but it was rejected by studios for a decade. Wong was reportedly in a bad financial situation and living with his mother and grandmother. He also had to stop writing the script and sell his laptop due to his financial struggles, which is perhaps why the themes of money are so powerful in his show. Now the show is number one in 90 countries and it has become the most watched show in Netflix history. It's reportedly worth almost 900 million US dollars in impact value, according to documents reviewed by Bloomberg. The Queen's Gambit 2020 it took co-creator and producer Alan Scott 30 years to get this show into production. Scott bought the TV and film rights to the epic chess drama novel in the late 1980s, and after that he'd rewritten the story nine times and approached several studios. A slated film version was reportedly cut short by the tragic death of Heath Ledger, who was set to direct. TV networks then rejected the show, as they believed that nobody would be interested in a dull subject matter like chess. In the first 28 days it was available on Netflix, the show set a record for the most viewers ever for a scripted limited-run series, with more than 62 million accounts watching at least part of an episode. The Sopranos, 1999-2007 It's hard to imagine The Sopranos on a network other than HBO since the show made HBO famous, but writer and producer David Chase had first pitched the show to other networks, including CBS. Interestingly, it wasn't the violence or explicit language that was their problem, but the fact that Tony was in therapy, as they wanted a more straightforward mob drama. Of course, the fact of it not being a straightforward mob drama, and its inclusion of a brutal anti-hero is what made the show an immense hit and cultural phenomenon, which only aired after Chase took it to HBO. HBO gave Chase the freedom to make the show as he wanted, and the series picked up numerous awards. It's also credited with changing the entire landscape of television viewership in the 2000s, Desperate Housewives, 2004 to 2012, NBC was doing well with its ratings when writer and producer Mark Cherry pitched a show focusing on a group of slightly mature women in a small community with a network of secrets. NBC reportedly rejected it because they believed mostly middle-aged women as main characters wouldn't be attractive to audiences. So Cherry took the show to ABC a network that had been struggling after several years of bad programming. ABC decided to develop it, and it was the best decision they could have made. The show was a smash hit and brought their ratings way up. Breaking Bad, 2008-2013, now regarded as one of the greatest television shows ever made, Breaking Bad was actually rejected before it was made. Creator, head writer, executive producer, and director Vince Gilligan had originally pitched the show to HBO. But HBO passed, and they were reportedly so uninterested in the idea, that they didn't even bother sending a formal rejection. 
FX and Showtime also rejected the series on the grounds that it was too similar to other shows that were airing at the time. AMC finally picked the show up instead, and to say it paid off is a huge understatement. Those networks surely continue to curse themselves for passing on the immense hit, which also had the successful spin-off series Better Call Saul. The Office 2005 to 2013 Though the UK version had garnered a lot of positive attention, executive producer Ben Silverman had a very difficult time getting the American version made. The show was actually rejected by numerous American networks until Kevin Riley at NBC took a chance on it. At first, The Office made its debut with six episodes in the spring of 2005, but ratings were so low that NBC ordered only six new episodes for the fall, which alone was also a battle with the network. They teetered on the brink of cancellation up until Steve Carell's career took off with the 40-year-old virgin. The Walking Dead, 2010 to 2022. You would think that a series based on a popular comic book which also incorporated reliably interesting zombies would have been fought over by networks, but executive producer Frank Darabont was actually turned down several times by various networks. The main problem that networks like NBC, ABC, and Fox had was the grotesque display of the zombies and the brutal violence in fighting them. Fortunately, AMC took a chance, and now the popular franchise continues its run to this day. Stranger Things, 2016 present, NBC, ABC, CBS, FX, TNT, USA, Fox, CW, and more made up the 15 to 20 networks that passed on the smash hit series when the Duffer brothers tried to sell it. They were told viewers wouldn't be interested in young kids, or the 80s setting. Luckily, and finally, Netflix picked it up, which the brothers also found beneficial because they liked the idea of dropping all the episodes at once. It certainly paid off, as the series is one of Netflix's biggest hits, has launched the careers of its young stars, and has picked up a number of awards along with critical acclaim. Mad Men, 2007-2015 Creator of the show Matthew Weiner originally pitched it to HBO and Showtime, but the networks reportedly felt it was too retro. Of course, that's part of what makes Mad Men so great to viewers now. Back in 2007, AMC wasn't doing much original programming, so they really took a chance on this series. Of course they've never regretted it, since it became an Emmy-winning smash. Orange is the New Black 2013 to 2019. This series changed the way people watch TV by dropping the full season all at once, plus it shone an iconic new light on the prison population. But creator Genji Cohen initially struggled to find anyone to pick it up. Even once Netflix finally picked it up, it wasn't a sure thing because most of the actors were unknown at the time. Of course, now they're beloved by fans around the world. South Park, 1997 present, when Trey Parker and Matt Stone pitched their South Park pilot The Spirit of Christmas to Fox and MTV, they were immediately rejected on the basis that the show wouldn't appeal to adults with its child protagonists, and that it wasn't diverse enough. They had actually got the meeting thanks to Fox executive Brian Graydon, who believed so much in the show that he left his job to follow it wherever it could get picked up, which ended up being Comedy Central. It was still a bumpy road to popularity, but now it's widely beloved.